So we have big motorhomes, we have small motorhomes, we have camper vans, we have all types of motorhomes. And we've just had a motorhome in. And what's blown me away about this motorhome is it feels huge. It feels a massive, massive, massive motorhome, but it's not. And when on the outside, it looks small, but on the inside, it's huge. Shall we go have a look at it? It's a Bursner Harmony Line or ISO 590. Just have a look at this motorhome. How small is it? It's just under six meters in length. But let's have a look and see how big it is inside. So there we go inside. Nice kitchen, nice lounge area. Looks standard type of motorhome. But then something happens. The van completely transforms with the lighting. What a stunning, stunning van this is. So let's get round and have a look at the Burstner Lyso. So you've had a sneak preview of the Burstner. Did you see the difference it made when them lights went on? And we'll have a look at the lights and everything else a little bit more in detail in a bit. Well, this van, it's just got acres and acres and acres of space for the size of it. Like I said, just under six meters. So it's a 2.3 multi-jet. 130 brake horsepower. Let's have a look. What have we got in here? Yes, you've guessed right. Storage. Plenty of storage. It runs all the way underneath the van. Well, underneath the floor. Just have a look at this awning. It's got lights in the awning. Can you imagine what that's like at night? We've got the vents for the fridge. It's going to be a full-size fridge. What have we got in here? Oh, guess what? Storage. And they thought of everything. Nice little drainer inside for putting the wellies in, for draining any waterproofs out or anything like that. Pardon? And as Finn's just said, I didn't notice. It's obviously got a blown air system. They put a vent in there as well to help to dry things out. That's the thing what I've noticed with this booster. We've had a look through it now for a little bit, but we keep finding more and more different things with it. And that's what makes a van not good, but great. Let's carry on. So at the back, um, good looking, good looking back end, dare I say it. Um, loving the lights. We've got the cassette toilet, and then above we do have the reversing camera. Um, it is a 2018. I'll give you the specs of it in a second. And then what I do like is, look at the graphics. Really nice graphics. And then what we have, we have a gas light system. Look at the size of them bottles. You're not going to run out anytime soon with them, are you? And then just below here, there's your gas low. Another nice little feature. So there's the fresh water tank. Basically, you've got your drain off there. You've got your drain off your water heater and also an extra drain off your water system as well. And then we have the hookup in. So we can plug the hookup in there. And look at this, look at this around here. That's where we put the lead in. Look at that. It doesn't take much, does it, to make a van? Not good, but great. And then we're coming along, nice, nice wheels. Really nice wheels. And then we have that great looking cab on the new vans. So let's have a look at this cab because we've got something else to show you in the cab as well. First thing I notice as well, I've got a USB point here as well. Of course it's gonna have it, of course blinds on the um, driver's side also on the obviously on the passenger side and guess what blinds again so one thing i've noticed is we've got the mirror but we've got no reversing camera which is a shame or is it because look at that have you seen that media pack there so we've got sat nav on it we can have the radio you can have your phone hooked up what else have we got menu we've got a oh, We've got a reversing camera. We can talk to it as well. There we go, talk to it. We can put the phone on, I've done that, haven't I? And then we've got the sat nav and everything else. How good and how good looking is that there? Um, of course, we're gonna have air conditioning on it. Of course, we're gonna have blown air on it. Um, it's a six speed manual. Um, what else is it? Let's have a talk about it. It's a 2018, um, just over 10,000 miles. Diesel, um, Fiat Decato. 
It's a four berth with four belted seats. It's the low profile, just under six meters long, just under three meters in height and 2.3 meters in width. So great cab, pretty standard cab as all the other ones, but also we get that great media pack on there as well. Um, USB on this side. We also have a USB on the other side as well. Um, not much more I can say, so let's get out and get into the van. So there we go. I didn't mention it's also got cruise control as well. Um, let's have a look inside. So I could do this again on you. Just hang on there a sec. So let's go inside. And think, can you do the honours when I say, look at this, it looks pretty standard here. So lights, cameras, action. Look at that. Look at the lights on it. Look at the lights, we've got the lights going around. If you can just see down here, we've got the spotlight there as well. We've got the three lights there. But if you want to change the mood, we can change the mood. We can move the lights. We've got lights under the cupboard. We've got lights all around here as well. I haven't even got onto the dinette, so let's have a look at this dinette. Have you seen the size of the dinette? We've got the one part here. We have the other part here as well. And then look at the lighting. We've got the spotlights. We've also got the lighting in there as well. And now let me move around. Let's make this van even bigger. Because what we do also have, we have the swivel seats. There we go. How big is this? Would you think you're in a six meter? And I haven't even shown you the washroom and it's got a separate washroom as well. So where do we start? Great looking lockers. Again, with the LEDs in there as well. So there you go. You've got the two that side, the two the other side. And we all like toys, don't we? So we can move our own light over to this side or we can move it over back over to this side again. Love the little switches as well. So just set everything off. Upholstery, really, really nice upholstery as well. And then we've also got the big table area here. Now this will make up into a bed area. So we just lift that up. We push that down and then we can make up. Obviously this slides over and then we do make a big uh, bed area here. They did say it was a full berth, didn't they? Four berth, yeah. Where's the other bed? It's up there. So obviously it's going to be a drop down bed. Let's have a look, see if it's a manual or electric, but I don't know if you can, the video is giving it justice. It's just stunning. And I reckon at night time, it's really going to look nice. So let me get my table up. What I can also do, I don't think I've shown you. Let me see. There we go. We can slide it, we can move it. We can go there. We can go that way, we can twist it, it does everything. A table with many different options. So anyway, let's move on to the bed. So here we have the bed area. We have our key operator there. And then if I just pass that down, down comes the bed. That is quick, Finn. That's really quick. Also, we've got the ladders then to get up, and then we've got the bed there. Why haven't we got lights on? We need lights on. So these lights here, your little reading lights. There you go. And it goes. And again. So there we go. The bed. So we'll get that up. And that goes up quick, doesn't it? compared to most electric yeah. beds. One thing I've noticed as well, when this bed goes up to its maximum height, there's still a gap there for allow um, ventilation through as well. So another little thing people probably wouldn't have picked up on. Um, don't forget, we have got the belted seats here as well. So there's your four belted seats made up. So we'll swap around now and let's have a look at this kitchen. So now we're at the kitchen area, but before we do that, We've got a telly that comes with this van and look at my control panel. How nice is that? A really, really classy control panel. We do also have the trim of water, heating and hot water as well there. And then just look at this sack plate here. 
I find it really, really nice. It's, it, you could have done it plain, but they didn't. They picked a nice design there. And then we've also got all the bank of light switches as well. Um, so the more you keep looking at it, and then we have big storage um, locker there. We've got the lights, three burner up, and I'm a sucker for a tap. That's a good sturdy tap. And as well, we've got just a standard size, nothing too big. Um, just perfect for basically for the pots and pans, not the pots and pans, more the cups and saucers and things. And then again, we have storage. I think more for your cans and things. Not your beer cans, more of your food cans. Um, it has got a grill and oven and then again we've got the um, cuddly drawer here on, just let me show you just come around and have a look at this just look at this look at that and then can we see you we've got little luke's here for putting the tea towels now you might not think it's much and you're going Ooh, why is he getting excited over that is because when you get into a lot of vans you don't realize how well this has been built and how well this has been thought through and then like i say as you start to pot around into the van you start to go oh they've thought of that they've thought of this now it's little things like this let me just pull this up like this that companies don't do they just don't do it so i'm getting excited because they have done it and it's little touches like that again that make a van from good to great and then we go on to the um the fridge now you could have had a plain simple cover on the front but now they've gone for the glossy mirror effect type of thing and then there we go look at that we've got one two three four shelves plus your solid one and then we do have the freezer as well and then just above that we have storage with a TV aerial. And uh, this doesn't feel a six meter van inside. You look at that lounge, how big's that lounge? You could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight people in there. It's a squeeze. And that's a lot for a six meter van. And it's still even got a separate shower and toilet as well. Let's go and have a look at it. So, can you see the side? Actually, I'm gonna get in there. I'm getting in. Look at the size of this shower. Don't forget, it's six meter van. Look at the size of it. Look at this, look, I've got loads of room. It's huge. Obviously with your shower, and then we've got the sink again. Stylish sink as well, look how stylish that is. Beautiful, look at the, look at the taps as well. I'm sorry for people for getting excited about the taps. And then we have it again. We have the lights as well. Let's open up. I don't think this opens, does it? No, it doesn't open. And then we've got the spotlights in as well, the LEDs. Now remember outside we have the storage. There's the access to get into the, into the um, storage from inside as well as the outside. Oh, we've got another cupboard as well. So we've got another cupboard there, wardrobe, sorry. And um, there's the jack and wheel brace. And then just below that, we've got another storage area. And then we've got the toilet area. I could read the times in this. Look. How big is that? So let's make our way back out again. So there you go, look at, again, he wants to give me more storage. He wants to give me, look, we've got more. More storage. And then in the, the kitchen area, we do have the skylight as well. And then at the front as well, we also have the skylight, blinds. Oh, I've got it wrong again. Fly screen. Um, we've got the windows. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, they me click clacks. I like the click clacks. I don't know if they are called click clacks, but there's one, two, three, and clack. There we go really really nice so let's have a look at some stats let's give you some stats you just know a van's going to be good when they embroider their own model into the uh, into the uh, upholstery um i can't get over this van it's it's a store i don't even want to sell it well 
Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, we do. So, Booster Liso, Harmony, SICK 590, four um, seatbelts, four um, birth, Fiat Ducato, six speed. It's a 3,500 kilograms, so you don't need a C1 to, uh, to drive it. It's got a whopping 680 payload. Whew. Um, low profile, like I said, this is a 2018, just over 10,000 miles, 2.3 litre turbo diesel. So it is probably going to have a cam belt, so do need replacing every five years. This has only had one owner. Um, I've done you the, the length, widths and everything. Um, we've got the electric step, the reversing camera, awning. Don't forget the lights in the awning, remember that? Um, Aircon was told you about it's got the blown air system hot water we've got the cruise control fly screens and the reversing camera separate oh, it's just got everything it's just got everything this van is this van it, uh, decent obviously in good condition with low mileage you're paying anywhere between 60 and 65 thousand um you might go oh but Get yourself into one of these vans and you'll know where the 60 to 65,000 is going to be spent on because this is a really, really nice van. Really nice. I don't want to sell this van for So we keep it. It is nice, isn't it? Stunning, isn't it? Stunning. Oh, oh, don't forget. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, more importantly, subscribe or more importantly, hit the like button or don't do both actually um, because you'll... By subscribing to us, you get all the up-to-date up, up um, motorhomes that we've got up for sale because you see them first on YouTube before you see them anywhere else. Um, I don't know whether we'll put this one up, eh? Shall we keep it? I think we might keep, keep this one. It, yeah. yeah, let's keep this one. So, see you next time.